fourth installment of Matrix, The Matrix Resurrections, is out, and it's one of the biggest letdowns of this year. Keanu Reeves is back with cyberpunk icon Neo but fans of the original will find this cynical reboot a bitter pill to swallow. The film begins by showing Neo in haggard and depressed middle age, operating under his normal name Thomas Anderson, he is an award-winning game programmer. An activist called Bugs played by Jessica Henwick tries to make contact with him, along with a renegade government agent who has assumed the persona of Morpheus. Meanwhile, Thomas's obnoxious billionaire employer Smith seems a parallel version of the sinister agent Smith. But Thomas's analyst is on hand to assure him that this is all just his imagination. But is it? And is Thomas still deeply in love with Trinity, whom he sees every day in his local coffee shop? The film is all about reuniting Neo and Trinity. For Matrix enthusiasts in India, the new film has Priyanka Chopra Jonas in the guise of Sati. She had an important role that makes an impact despite its limited length. The character, who has every reason to throw her lot with the rebels, guides Bugs, the captain of the Nemozine, and her team led by the operator Sequoia, to mount a sortie to reunite Neo and Trinity. Experiencing the Matrix Resurrections is like watching a star athlete come out of retirement. It shows flashes of what made it special, but it's mostly a shadow of its former self. The action is downright messy, a clumsy clutter of over-editing and half-assed punches. Not even close to original Matrix's action, the Matrix Resurrections has big, bold ideas that it doesn't succeed at executing. Bogs down in its story, heavy-handed themes, and way too many callbacks to the previous films, including actual footage lifted from them. Whereas the first film had exciting action and special effects, here it feels rote and far too heavily edited. The Matrix Resurrections is a recycling dump of murky effects, indifferent action, and a crazily cluttered, relentlessly repetitive narrative. It is best to avoid watching this movie.